Taking advantage of uh, the two screens that Surface Duo offers in a Flutter application are actually, it's pretty straightforward. Um, we've got a number of blogs up on our, on our developer blog um, that you can go read where I talk about um, the steps that you can go through to enable um, the APIs within your Flutter app. And then once you have those APIs enabled, you can then um, do things like determine is your application spanned across both screens? Is it running on one screen? Um, and then that combined with the Flutter APIs that give you information about if you're running in landscape or portrait mode would help you to then um, kind of go back through your existing application uh, and your different views and determine what sort of data you wanna show. So for instance, you might have um, a page or a view, a, a widget that you're displaying on the screen. And uh, perhaps in the case of say a movie application, right? You might have a list of movies and you wanna show the details on the other screen. And today in your app being single screen, it's kind of like one screen goes to the next. So you just go back and, and detect if you're running across two screens, maybe you would then display the two different widgets side by side in a row. One would be the list, the other would be the details. So there's a little bit of tweaking that goes on there. Um, there are some packages for Flutter that people have built and uh, some stuff that we're working on to help make this even easier. So you can just drop a package in your application and not have to do kind of all that plumbing under the covers in the Android side um, of the application and really just focus on the Flutter side. So once you've kind of got all that going, uh, like I said, it's just really editing your pages um, to or your views to look the way that you want and work when they're on a single screen versus two screens. And, uh, and once you've done all that, you'll have an app that looks great on a Surface Duo. Thank you.